Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from BTN HD and how to use your virtual desktops in Windows 10. So let's say you have a cluttered desktop with so many windows. So rather than minimizing all of them to the taskbar, uh, Windows finally gave us virtual desktop, but it's actually called task views. On the taskbar, if you click on the task view, you get this nice beautiful expose window kind of looking thing that everyone's seen on the Mac world at the very bottom you get to add a desktop as you can see I have already three applications up and running so if I click on add a desktop it gives me an additional window and within that window the first window has all the three applications in there so let's say if I click on the tasks view, if I right click on my calendar uh, you're able to move it to a specific window so I'm going to shoot this one to the desktop too. And as you can see at the very bottom on my second window, I have my calendar. You're able to add another window, go back into your original desktop one. And let's say I want to move my home again, go to right click, move to and desktop to desktop three. Now, the way that you know what's the difference between desktop two and three is that it looks like Microsoft is reading it between left to right. So whatever is on your left hand side, it starts to one. So this is desktop one, desktop two, desktop three, desktop four, and so on. So I want this application or this window to go to desktop three. And as you can see, automatically it's already changed. Now, if you want to view each window, you just take your mouse and just highlight it and you see what's up. If you want to actually delete a desktop virtual window, uh, you go to the to the tile and you get a nice little X and you just close it. Now the application that was already running on that window will automatically jump into the next uh, available desktop window. And uh, that's it guys, that is the run through of virtual desktops. I'm hoping, oh actually one more thing, if you go to a window if you go all the way to the bottom, you're going to see like a bar at the very bottom of the application. Now that bar kind of indicates that that application or window is actually running on a virtual desktop. If you click on it, it's going to jump straight to that virtual desktop. So that's pretty awesome. And that's it. I think uh, Microsoft, it's still early. Uh, I'm hoping that Microsoft actually adds a couple of features like uh, able to drag and drop desktops and organize your desktop settings a little bit more uh, I don't really know what's the limitation of how many virtual desktops that you create uh, but I've created like about as much as I can because then I lose it I lose the plus uh, sign it'd be nice if I'm able to scroll to the to the right and then add more uh, I'm thinking the bigger the display the more windows you can add which is pretty awesome I want to know what you guys think about the whole virtual desktop with Windows 10 leave your comments right below don't forget about hitting that like button because that like button does support me a lot and I catch you guys on the next one peace out